Hello guys and welcome and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install your mods once you've downloaded them to your computer. I always download mine to my downloads folder. And once you've downloaded them they'll always come in a zip file. So before you can put them into your game, you need to extract them. So I'm going to show you the main types of mods that you're going to come across. So I'll start off with this one, which is a USR, USSR mod. Click on it, open with, and I use 7-zip extractor. But you can use WinRare, 7-zip, uh, WinZip. Any extractor folder you can use and I always extract them it still into my download folder that makes it a lot easier for you to handle them so use the 7-zip extractor it will open you will get this highlight what you want click extract check it's going to your downloads folder okay Now that now is in the downloads folder. Now I'm not going to bother with the readme, but if you want to, you can do. If if there's one in your mod, so I'm going to delete that. Keep it all clean. Now this file has opened as a mod installer file. Whenever you see this, it's a mod installer, and you need the mod installer to install this into your game. So what you should be able to do is simply double click on it and wait for it to load and it will depend on your computer how long it takes to load now always check this this will install the modification from package C users file mod downloads that's me USSR mod two and this is the important bit you need to make it go into your games mod folder into your emergency four or nine one one responders mod folder so C program files x sixty eighty six sixteen tons of entertainment emergency four mods now if you've got the um, the 911 responders version it will say something like C program files whatever thingy wizard works I think it is emergency for mods so if you've got it correct you just simply click yes and that if done correctly you'll we'll send it into your mods folder and I'll show you that in a minute. And once again you have to be patient with this because there were, it, it really depends on the size of the mod that's in there. Once that's all done it's gone in there, you click exit. Now to check it's working right click your mouse on your, desk, on your emergency for desktop icon Go down to open file location. You'll find your mod folder. If there's another mod folder in your game, you need to make one. Just make one and name it like that. Open it up. And there you go. The USSR mod is, is it installed. Click on it to check. Now, as long as it looks like this, all the files look like that, you're ready to go. So you would load it the same way as any other mod. You would just click on your main menu, modifications, USSR mod, let it load, click on free play, and then free play. So that's that one we've done. Now there are some people who have um, Steam that have problems um, loading that up. They have a problem with the mod installer. Um, I'll put a description to the the link to the Steam 
forum where somebody has given a a tutorial on how you can fix that problem like I say I'll stick that in the description at the bottom all right the next way we can install a mod is this way we once again we go to that use your zip extractor to extract it Vietnam modification extract extract it to your downloads and just have patience while it does it for you now I'm hoping the sounds okay on this um, because it's been a long time since I've used it and my mic was playing up a bit so I'm just going to have to hope for the best. So once we've dealt with getting your mods installed, which obviously is for a lot of people the main issue, then I'll do a few tutorials on how you can change the game a little bit to suit it to your needs. Um, you know, like um, making it longer so you've got longer to finish a, a call um, you know di different little things like that and it changed the start time and you did quite a few little things in there and we'll deal with that in the next tutorial once we've learned how to put your mods in as you can see you've got to have patience uh, a lot of the time with this no point rushing when you rush that's when you make mistakes and you're gonna end up having trouble just let it do what it's gonna do Hopefully we should nearly be there now. And you can click off that. And I'm going to delete that. Just to keep it all nice and clean so I don't make mistakes. Keep it all tidy. I mean if you would if you just downloaded these and and um, you'd install them, don't delete your zip that got them in save them somewhere then if the link gets took down you've always got them I'll show you that um, games e4 mods and I save all my mods into there that I've downloaded now it may look like I've got a lot but I mean I've got different versions of Harbour City and different hunters of hills and you know but save them into here that way, if they get took down, you've always got them on your computer. So we got the Vietnam mod, mod um, open now, and it's come as a folder format. So open it up and just check. Now you see that, let's show you, open file location, mods, USSR mod. Now, if you take it along, look pretty similar audio prototype scripts. To, as long as it looks like that, it will be okay to play. So now what we've got to do here is take that back. Now this is the easiest one to install of the lot. You just right click on your desktop icon, open your mods. And then drag, oops, drag and drop it in there. Continue. 
and just let it move across. And once again, I will stress you have to be patient. There you go, it's gone in to your mod folder. So, I won't move across so I can close you. Right, the next version we're going to deal with is extract this. And you've extracted it and you will find out that it's a exe file. Not many that come in this format, but there are a few. So what you do with this one, you, you double click it. Now this one is probably one of the, might take longer than any to uh, install. I think um, Brooklyn might come in this format. Um, now, depending on your security settings, some computers it will come up and say you're about to install an XC file. These files can be dangerous for your computer, you know, etc. etc. If you've got your settings on that, it will warn you, but um, there's nothing wrong with this one, but you do. Normally, if you're downloading an EXE file, be very careful with them if you don't know anything about them. So if you get that warning on this, nothing to worry about because you know it's a it's a safe file. But like I say, you have to be careful. So you just ignore that warning if you get it on your computer. So we've got this, we click on next. You have to accept the agreement, click next. Next, it will say that it's coming into me 16 tons of entertainment emergency for mods. But just to make sure, what I'll do it is emergency for mods. Just click on the mods, see there, because that was going into emergency for itself and not into the mods. So just make sure it goes to the mod folder. Click next. And you've got these instructions which have been installed new map deluxe repo and everything for uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna do that. You can create a desktop icon for this, but I don't. I normally just put it in and I load it same as I would do any other mod in the main menu modifications Los Angeles mod 2.1 let it load and then go into free play campaign uh, challenge whichever I want to do so so I don't do a desktop icon you can do it if you want but it can get a bit confusing loading it that way just load it the normal way Just let it load. As always, patience is the key. Now when I download mods, I don't know what uh, browser you will use, 
Um, I've had some people say they have problems with opening um, Mega and different things and they have corrupt files. Now, I've never come across a corrupt file on an emergency mod for mod ever in all the years I've been doing it. I always use Google Chrome to do my downloads. I always use that, no exceptions. Always downloaded them to my download folders and I've never had an issue with them. Um, if you do sometimes have a little bit of a problem, what you need to do, because I've read it somewhere, um, is clear your, your history, your download history and your cache files and, and, and that. Clean it all up before you download and you shouldn't have an issue. Um, no, I don't want to. I don't want to look at this thing. So close that now. Open up. Always check first before you start playing. Don't get too oh, I'm excited. I want to play it. Go in and check that they're in correctly. Once again, once. Right. See here, this is where we would have come into a problem because there's two folders there. You've got a mods and a, and a Los Angeles mod. Now close that um, download folder. What you would need to do here is take that Los Angeles mod out. If you ever get a folder within a folder and I'm going to show you on the next one a similar problem and that's why you're all having a lot of people are all having problems with um, loading the London mod. So you, you delete that folder and then you drag the Los Angeles mod back into here. You don't want a folder within a folder on that. It's where your issues will start. Right, now you double click on it and as you see it's exactly the same as the others that, that are in before or pretty similar you know you've got all your files audio language and that's what you want you don't want a folder in a, in a folder they will all work you will not have an issue with them now right so We'll go back to this downloads. Now I'm deleting them because I've already got them in um, saved. I just put them here. Copied them here um, for you. Put them here. I'll empty what's in the recycle bin. Oof. Right, so that was the Los Angeles mod. And we'll delete that. And I, uh, this is just habit. I always clean up as I'm going along. Keeps the computer clean uh, and then you don't make mistakes by loading on files. Now this is a, a mod that loads of people still cannot get this to load and, and I see it, this question everywhere over the internet. Can anybody tell me how to load the London mod? It won't work. So once again we extracted the 7-zip. You go to London mod we extract to our downloads. I've also seen some people say to, to extract it into their mods folder. No, don't do that. Work from your download folder. It saves mistakes. So it's downloaded. I'm going to delete this. As I say, I like to keep tidy. Right. Now the London mod. What people were doing Same as what happened with the Los Angeles mod. What people were doing are opening mods and they're dragging this mod because it's a folder, they're automatically thinking I need to drag it into there. But you don't. Because if you open the folder, there's two things in here. There's a parking script demo and there's 
it's an actual E4 mod. So if you dragged the folder into your mods folder, it won't work because you haven't extracted the the actual mod itself. So what we do is you open the London mod 1.3. I don't bother with the parking script demo. I don't um, I don't bother with that in a lot of my mods. Some people like it. If you do, you will have to work that out yourself. You know, you've got to you've got your how to to do it and, and these menu icon items i leave you to set them up yourself so what you do is once again it's a mod installer for the london mod which was inside the folder and that's why once again make sure it's going to your mods folder so if you're having a problem with the London mod version 1.3, it's because once you've extracted it, you've, dra you've dragged that folder straight away into your mods folder, and that's not what you do. You have to install it, the actual mod itself, with the mod installer. And there we go. Once again, clearing up my computer, keep it nice and clean. Empty recycle bin. Right, here we go. Open location again. Like I say, best to check them before you start playing. We've got the London mod version 1.3. You open it up. There you see, you've got the same as you have on the other mods. So that's ready to play now. And that's how you load that mod. Now, as you know, I run the emergency for mod downloads. If you, if there's any other way to, and you have problems installing a mod, um, just private message me and I'll try and help you out. Um, if you do message me on there, be patient because I'm in UK time. If you're in America or another country, you might be eight hours. You might be awake while I'm asleep. So just wait till I come. You get this message that comes up saying I'm away from my computer. That's an automatic message. If you do message me on there, don't just put hi and then that's it. Because... If you do that, when I come on like four hours later or something, all I see is you saying hi. And what, what can I do with that? Straight away, just ask your question or, or whatever you want to, whatever it is. Can you show me how to load this mod or whatever? Ask your question. That way, when I come back on later on, I can answer you straight away. Rather than, then I've got a reply to that hi and say hello to you um, but could you ask the questions because I can't answer anything to this if you know if you understand what I mean and please try and please try and write in English because another pet hate of mine is you send a big text in a, in a foreign language I'm going to copy and paste that into Google Chrome and Google Chrome ain't exactly the best so try and transfer it into English and also uh, sometimes I'll, I'll answer the English ones first before I get to you because it, it means me opening closing different browsers to do it and if you, if you ask me in English I can answer you straight away and I'll get to you a lot quicker that way so that's basically how you install most of the common mods into the game. Now I use Windows 10, 64-bit, um, and I've also played the game on Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Windows XP, Vista, and I've never had an issue with any of them. I really haven't had an issue. So um, if you do, it's something on your computer 
that's causing the problem. Because there's a lot of people who well, it's like a dream. So thank you for watching that. I hope it helps a lot of you. Especially you newbies. And join me again in another tutorial on how to get the best out of your game. Bye for now.